Hello awesome people, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Tastemaker. Yesterday we played this game for a little bit, we tried to make a, well we succeeded in making a fast food restaurant which is basically the first scenario in this game. Uh, we got all the free stars which is very very cool and it was actually a blast to do that so it's it's very fun. If you have missed that video then please go and uh, take a look at it. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun, it's, it's a good introduction to this game and today we're gonna go into the sandbox mode and we're gonna try and make something. I will explain as we go what my goal is here so let's go into sandbox mode and just wait for a second so that we can actually start building so this is our little plot over here so what i want to do is let's first start off with like building a little bit of a thing i want to try and make this into like a real restaurant not the type of restaurant we we made like yesterday where we basically just went in in and just said well uh you know we are just gonna make like a fast food joint out of it so I want to get like some extra land from right from the start. I mean, this is a bit risky, but I hope this will work. And there we go. We're going to make like a little restaurant like this. Um, let's do three. Yeah, that, that's kind of the same. So the only thing right now is we need to buy more land and we need to be a bit careful with this because if we put in too much money into the land, we will not have the money to actually start off our business. But this should be fine. This should be fine. So we have a little entrance area now, which which I think looks looks good. We will have a little path over here. Also, I don't think this this costs money to just put in some plants. So no, it doesn't. Awesome. So let's just put in some plants there. Awesome. So let's put in a door, of course. And let's put in some nice windows, like a large window over here and a large window over there. So we have like a little, this is going to be, the goal is to get like a real nice little restaurant. Not not the fast food joint that we had yesterday. And that being said, we're going to try and make like a real restaurant with tables. And, and we're going to serve wine and bread at the start probably. Uh, or one to start. Um, we will see. Uh, for now, what we're going to do, and this is going to all change probably during the video. We're going to play for like a half an hour, something like that, to see what we can make out of this. So let's put a door right here. This is going to be our little kitchen area. So what we will do there, we will set up that and we will see what, what we have left basically to, <laughs> to work with. So we have a storage area. Um, one should probably be enough, but I'm going to add a second one already because we want to do bread and wine. They both need to go in here. So in order to put wine on the menu sorry we have to go here in order to put wine on the menu we need glass and we need wine and the storage rack that's basically it the, the wine goes into the storage racks and they will take the bottle and they pour it in a glass that's it we also want to serve bread so we need a dough mixer and a stove i mean uh and a plate so that's it's a lot already we could do a dough mixer stove and then two cabinets but that's probably gonna... Uh, and we could place another cabinet in the middle. No, actually what we could do is let's let's do it like this. Uh, was it a stove or an oven? I think it's an oven, not a stove. So we will do this. And then we will place a cabinet. And we will place another cabinet. And we will place another cabinet. That costs a lot of money. I know that. But we will find out if we actually will succeed in this soon enough. So let's have like... Uh, we had like three or four. We have three cabinets. So let's go with seven glasses and 14 plates. I feel like that's the thing. The only thing we also need is a dishwasher. And I totally forgot that. So we don't have a spot for that. We will make like a little spot here where we will have like a dishwasher. I mean, it's not optimal. This is going to be like the dishwash area. <laughs> This is definitely not optimal, but, you know, I don't really care right now. I just want to have some fun with this game uh, because it is a good game. So let's have a, let this, we could make this into our storage area later, probably. So let's have like a dishwasher here. And let's actually set a, 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 whoops, a second one right here too. So we don't have to really worry about that. We don't need a cutting board this time because we don't need to cut anything. We will make the bread ourselves. Um, so right now we have to order flour. Let's order like 10 flour. And 10 wine. I feel like that's good. Uh, oh, and we should put that on repeat too. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. We have we have taken all this for delivery. So the only thing right now... Actually, we should already hire people uh, as person. We don't pay them right off. So I have to care about that. Um, so the one thing we really need is we want to have some tables. Um, what we could do is we could go for like old tables and upgrade them later. I think we will do that. I think we will... Oh... 
Those are really, really bad, though. No, okay. <laughs> no, actually, we kind of have to, to just get the first clients in. So we will make like a longer table over here. And then we will have like a table over here and a table over here. And we'll just start with all the bad stuff, basically. So this is like, okay, this is a really weird setup. We probably just move this back one tile to make it a bit better. Yeah, then we can actually add more chairs and stuff. That's probably better. Let's just do this. Whoops. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We get our money back, so. And we will slowly start upgrading this entire thing. So we will have, like, uh, we have 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. We have 16 spots, if I count it correctly. 16 spots in here for people to sit down. So the only thing we need to do now is go full speed ahead. And, uh, oh, by the way, I didn't show this, but you can also go up uh, in your area. So we, there is a stairs you can build. I think it's here. Yeah, there's a stairs you can build. So if you do that, that means that you um, you have the option to go up and build a second story. That's also very, very cool. We can't add this yet because it's not, uh, you know, delivered yet. We basically have to wait for this. And once it's in our storage racks, we can start um, adding it to the menu. And then people will hopefully come into our restaurant because that's, the, that's basically the goal. So the goal is to get bread and wine on the menu. And then we kind of have to see where we're going. Maybe we're going to go for some steaks. That's also a, like a second area we have over here. We could make some steaks. Uh, soup? Nah, I don't really like soup. I mean, we could go for pizza. We have to order. We have to have a cutting board and then go for tomatoes. I've never made pizza in this game before, so I want to try it out, kind of. Uh, but we have our first delivery here, so let's add bread and wine to the menu. I mean, it's almost like a church now. Bread and wine. There we go. And now we have to kind of wait and sit back a bit because we have to make money. And uh, actually, we should probably hire a second employee straight away. Well, actually, we'll wait till the end of the month uh, when, once the tick is done. Once the tick is done, uh, we don't have to pay him for like the first day he's working here. When he's basically done nothing. And right now, I feel like this guy can do it on his own. So the restaurant is all right. It's nice and clean, but the decoration is bad. Yeah, I mean, we don't have money to decorate right now. And what do you mean? We have like nice windows and, and like plants, like flowers outside. I mean, what are you worrying about, man? I mean, yeah, the tables are like just like... It's even worse than like Ikea stuff. It's it's just like... Well, Ikea stuff is actually not, not that bad. But I mean, this is just wooden planks, like smashed together, basically. Um, so yeah. Okay, we had, a, we had a new tick, so let's hire another employee. I feel like we can use those uh, to, to make it better. I also feel like this dough mixer is going to be a problem because I think that this is not working very fast. So if people are going to order a lot of the bread, we might have uh, a problem where the dough mixer can't keep up and the oven too. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I've never started like this before, so I have no clue basically if this is going to work. That's kind of what I'm uh, what I'm at right now. An employee is complaining about the high workload. Yeah, okay, let's hire another one then. And one of you guys is going to have cleaning as a high priority. Because I want it to be clean. I don't care about... Maybe, you know, guests will kind of wait a little bit longer for their food. At least if it's clean. You know, I, if I'm going to a restaurant, I don't mind if I have to wait like 10 minutes longer for my food. If at least the table is clean. Restaurant's alright. Decoration is bad. Extra toilets. Yeah, nice and clean. Yeah, I know. I know. We're working towards that. And we will start replacing these with better better things. I'm not sure if there's actually stats on it or if it's, if it's just like decor. I mean, okay, yeah, it's decor. It's definitely decor. Okay, maybe this wasn't the right choice then. Um, but we will start moving the tables first. So we will sell a table and then build a new one. And whenever we have the chance to actually do so. Yeah, there's not enough mixers to keep up with demand. That's the problem. That's, that's what I was worried about. Not enough ovens. Yeah. We kind of need money now to fix that. So we don't have a way of fixing that yet. However... Oh, another thing that's not in the game yet, I, I hope they will fix it, is that you can sort of assign certain things to a certain storage rack. Because if we could do that, we could make it more efficient by just set a storage rack down here and assign it with, with uh, wine and just get rid of the glasses, the glass cabinets and just put them there too. That would be very 
you know, a lot, a lot better than what we're doing right now, basically. So right now, we need more dough mixers. And actually, what we could also do... So also just increase the price for bread right now. That will slow down the consumption of bread in our restaurant. So it will slow down this. It will give us a little bit more money. Uh, it will improve the sales of wine, I think. So wine, we have enough. And wine, the only thing we... We don't have to cook wine or whatever. So it's easier for our people to do that. Um, we can then use the money to improve the scenery a bit instead of just going into an, a new kitchen straight away. Clean glasses is shortage, yeah. Uh, that's the only thing that's also true. <laughs> we will need some more glasses, that's that's true. But I feel like this is fine. I feel like uh, I feel like I'm sitting in the fire, like the meme, sitting in the, fi in the fire and just saying, yeah, this is fine, this is fine. It's nice to clean with the menu could be improved. Yeah, I mean, yeah, true. The menu could definitely be improved, but uh, we also could probably dial down on the flour now and also on the wine a bit. Order less, so we have less expenses for that. Clean wine glasses, short shit. I know, okay, we kind of have to now. Because of that, we kind of have to build a cabinet right here and get more glasses. We can't really not do that. That's the problem. We only have seven glasses, but by making this more uh, important, the wine on our menu, it it's kind of we we kind of have to go for the glasses now. So they will be ordered. They will come out as soon as we can. Decor is still dreadful. I actually did not think about this when I put these tables in, um, but that's okay. Okay, I will remove this table. That will give us 24 bucks back. I feel like we paid 30, yeah, so we get a certain percentage back. Okay, let's place a new table there. And that's the way we're going to try and fix this place. How much is uh, like a good chair? A normal chair is 40 bucks. Okay, so let's get rid of you and put a normal chair in. Actually, we can put two in. Yes. Yes, please. Two normal chairs. Awesome. That looks... This looks really <laughs> weird now, but I mean, we will we will fix it. Don't worry. We got this. We got this. I mean, in the end, I want to try and make it like a real kitchen and uh, make sure that we get... Oh, they're actually seated. You know what? Uh, I'm very sorry, people, but I'm going to delete those chairs. <laughs> she actually fell on the ground. Oh, she left the restaurant. That's not, not that's not a laughing matter. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to do it again because it just looks funny. Delete it. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. Okay, so next stop is the, the next table, I guess. So let's try and get this table done and increase the uh, the scenery. The decor should be improving now a bit there. Yeah, it's 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 at least better than this. So if we have these tables and chairs, then we can just paint some, you know, do some pictures around, uh, maybe add a plant somewhere, and it should be fine then. Normally these tables would be bad, considering because it's like right, right next to the door, but still. None of mixers. I mean, we could try and get for a save up for a mixer, maybe. But the thing is, if we add another mixer, then that problem is done, but it will just move the problem to the ovens. So we have to basically go for both. Which at this point, I believe... I mean... We could try. It means that we have to move some of the cabinets, though. Let's move this cabinet over here. Let's actually move this cabinet then over here, too. That means we can add another oven, and then we can move you over here, and you over here. So basically, we'll take the food from our little kitchen over here to the other part, and there we plate it up and we put it there. It's not its not the best way of doing things, right? So let's just put the mixers there. Now we're going to try and save up money for an extra oven. I mean, not a lot of people in here. We can make the bread a little bit cheaper and the wine a little bit more expensive, I guess. We have a lot of wine in the racks, so we don't... Well, actually, that 
that that's saying we could probably make it cheaper again. Not enough ovens to keep up with demand. I know. I just told you that's going to be the next problem. But hopefully we can get a little bit of extra money before the end of the month. Yeah, we're not going to reach. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Please eat fast. Thank you. There it is. We have two ovens now. That's good. Um, the dishwashers at least are now in the same place as the plates, which is easier to 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 work with. Um, well, actually, if we want to make pizzas, we need to order tomatoes. But where do tomatoes go? They just go in the rack. They don't go into a, into a freezer because otherwise it would be red like the meat and the chicken. So if we want to make pizzas, we don't even have to get freezers. That's actually like fridges. Uh, sorry. That's actually quite good to know. So the next step is just improving on, on our scenery, basically. So it's going to be like... Um, we're going to save up some money to make sure we have we can change the tables again and stuff like that. Should be doable. And at that point, we can make some like nice walls and the floors better and all that stuff. I'm going to sell this chair. Did that actually make that person happy? I'm not sure. Uh, put a new chair here. They don't care, though. Uh, sell that chair. And this chair, because we have enough to put two new ones down here. Awesome. I mean, this is a good thing for recycling, right? We're just recycling our, our own stuff. So this table, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to delete it, but... <sighs> On the other hand, if I delete it, I have no people sitting here, so I can just delete it once I have the money. That's the thing. If I delete it, then... Right now, if I hit 100 bucks, I want to delete this table and change it, but I can't because so many people are using it. That's that's the problem, kind of. But if I delete it, then those four chairs don't have anything. So I can't delete it now. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's in use, see? So basically, we have to wait until all of this is gone. I can't move it either, so... Okay, actually, this is working out. Let's just delete this table then. Oh... Is there an undo button? Nope. Okay, well... I'm just gonna kind of delete it then. I mean... Employee is, is complaining about the high workload. I mean, don't worry, dude. We will be fine. But actually, you might actually be right. So let's just hire one extra dude. We are doing quite a lot and we have to w walk back and forward. I didn't really think this through. We should have probably not done this. Like the extra sort of storage room area. Um, thank God the restaurant is not too big. So it's not too far of a walk. But it would be pretty weird to see someone coming from the kitchen with your bread and then just walk into another part of the restaurant and go and come back with the bread on the plate. Um... I do see why that is uh, a bit weird, but um, yeah, we can always place this new table there. Let's just ignore that, that what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> that's being done, so the decor is going better. That's good, because it will mean that more people will join in. So if we improve the decor, the next step would be to add a toilet and to, of course, incorporate our kitchens together, basically. Um, that would be the next big thing to do. I'm I'm gonna go for like the full table sets. So yeah, let's delete this and put like a new table there. I feel like that's the better thing here right now that we can do. So hopefully we can get before the end of the month, we can get enough to build this table. I think we can. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Now we'll just wait for the end of the month. So we will pay our employees and then we'll see how much the deficit is because we are probably going into the deficit. And if we make that out, then we can start working on the other chairs. And that should be fine. Yeah, we're in a deficit there. Uh, we made a decent profit. Guests are stuck. Wait, what? Oh, you are stuck. You can't move. Oh, that's true. Oh, okay. We have to... Oh, okay. That's another way of keeping people in your restaurant, I guess. <laughs> Not intended, though. Um, we have to... Yeah, I'm very sorry, but you're going to be stuck there. I don't know why... Oh, you took that chair because... I deleted one of the other chairs, or I deleted one of the tables, I think. That's why you could reach there. I mean, we are just gonna buy an extra little plot of land over here. Just gonna buy this part, and just make a wall there. It will take a little bit, though. Until we can actually build it. There we go. 84. Well, uh, sorry, sir, you have to wait. 
he's standing up he's <laughs> he's pissed he wants to go home I'm sorry, dude. You have to wait just a little, a little bit longer. There we go. Okay, and now we can just delete the wall behind you. And you should be able to move now. Thank God he's able to move. But that all... Oh, no! What are you doing, dude? That is horrible. <coughs> Holy. Really? He just crapped on our floor. I mean, I've seen a lot in video games, but that is actually something I've never seen before. Someone just taking crap in your restaurant. To be fair, we didn't give him a toilet and we sort of got him stuck there, but still. I mean, come on. You don't do that, right? There we go. I mean, that's, uh, I've never seen that before in this game. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I can appreciate the, the fun of it there. Let's place a new chair there and let's delete this one and place a new chair. Okay, so that means we have all the chairs and stuff. Uh, so maybe priority now on the toilets? Nah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like put some nice towels in there. That's gonna be the goal. Um, because that's some of the things that we didn't do in, like in the last one. I think like carpet, it's really ugly. The red carpet, I feel like it's really ugly. I, let's just put like a walnut floor in there. And this should improve the decor too, right? Also, what's the wall paint? I mean, we could like make a little tile. I feel like the tile with the walnut stuff or maybe... What's this? Pillars with walnut? I feel like that... Well, let's, let's do the floor first so we can actually get a better idea of wh what it looks like. Okay, it looks like a little bit... Gr yeah. It costs 10? Yeah, 10. 10 per. So basically we have to... I want to do this per stroke of uh, floor. So we have... Wait, how much do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need 70 to do one stroke. Um, but if we take a look at the decor, I feel like it's improving quite a bit, actually. Employee is talking about the high workload. I mean... Yeah, just ignore that. What we could do, however, is just do this. Increase the price of the wine a little bit because I see a lot of empty wine glasses that will hopefully shift their um, their priority a bit and that will make it easier for us to, to do this. You can't just click and drag. That's also a thing I want them to improve on. But I guess that's all like balancing features that will come uh, later on. I mean, another, another complaint about... Ingredient shortage. What we okay, oh yeah, we have been buying five flour every month for a little while. And a lot of people are eating bread right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of a problem. Um there we go. And now we will set it to like seven. Same as the wine. Should be fine. Let's pause it because we have another stroke of walnut floor done. Yeah, the decor is definitely improving. This looks very good. We're gonna make like a, a nice little restaurant here. There we go. Make it look nice. I think we could also put flowers on the tables. Oh, that's the end of the month. We, we run out of money. So we might be looking at, at that too. Uh, that would be fun to do too. Um... But yeah, for now, we're just focusing on beautifying this. I feel like that's probably going to be a big part. They're all probably going to say, yeah, uh, the good restaurant, all right. Yeah, but this is all toilets, probably. And menu. Oh, yeah, we only have two items on the menu. That's the other thing. Um, Once we finish this, I'm probably going to make one bigger kitchen. And this will be like toilets. And we will just basically make a big kitchen on this side, probably. And have a like, little storage room over here that connects with that kitchen. That's probably how I'm gonna do it. Long queue is forming. I mean, I'm fine with that. Let them wait. Is it really long? Yeah, okay, it is kind of long. Increase the bread and the wine price a little bit. And another stroke done, awesome. We might have to hire more employees in the end. I, I thought they were kind of... It was just like a 
backlog of tasks that they had to do but it feels like they actually have a lot of stuff to do so we're gonna hire i'm not gonna wait till the end of the month right now because it feels like they actually have you know a lot of stuff to do even though it's just a small restaurant um let's do this last stroke of land we will not not do the wallpaper then the decor is really good so that's that's really nice we will not do the wallpaper now we will focus on actually having like a real kitchen which is probably something we would have done in the first place. We should have done in the first place. Let's do something like this. Okay, this is the first area we're gonna buy. Let's see if we can buy this entire plot of land. That's awesome. Now let's just see how far we can get. There we go. And now it will be the tick of the month. Yeah, so we have to wait for this. So this is going to be like the big kitchen that we have with an entrance over here. And then this will go down into the actual storage room. That's what's going to be over here. Uh, we don't have a lot, have to have a lot of storage, but you know, it would be nice to have. And this is going to be turned into kitchen then, uh, into uh, toilets then. I feel like that would be like a good option, right? Ingredient shortage. Oh, no, 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 no. Have we been ordering? Yeah, okay, we're not ordering enough. I think I thought it would be fine, but apparently it's not. But a lot of people are eating bread right now, which is cool. We also don't have a, a entire line anymore, although the restaurant is still full, quite full. That's good. New review. What does it say? This restaurant's all right. The decoration is good, but the restaurant could use some extra. Yeah. So basically, it's their only complaint is the toilets, which we don't have, which I kind of get. I mean, uh, I kind of get that the, that's a problem for a restaurant if you're gonna be like in a real restaurant. So. We need 60 for that, okay. Let's just wait until we get that. There we go. How much is this? This is 48. We could probably get that very fast too. If we don't order too much uh, ingredients. <laughs> and uh, let me get it, let me get it, finally. Not enough mixers, yeah, okay. We have to increase our kitchen. That's 120. Uh, once we get that, we can start moving around our kitchen a bit. And that would definitely help out. Not enough ovens to keep up with the man. Yeah, that's the same problem as before. I mean, that's that's just... We can actually build the room. Oh, insane. Okay, so let's build a door right here. Have a kitchen. That's, that's going to be the kitchen. So we're going to move like the dishwashers and stuff there. Let's start with that first. So let's do a dishwasher there. We don't really have a problem with plates and glasses. That's, that's good to know. Um, let's put like the cabinet there. Let's put another cabinet right here. Let's put another cabinet right there. And the last one. Can I get it? Thank you. Put it there. This is going to be the toilet, like I said. Now, move the mixers to an actual... I mean, we, we should probably have three mixers, three ovens like this. Like a setup like this could work. I'm guessing this would be fine. Then we have the little storage area over here. That also means that we need another door. So let's open up a little door. And then we have this door still there because we, if we have deliveries, you could just walk in there and just have fun with it, basically. It also means that we can have like, uh, if we have enough money, we could put in more storage if we need to. So now that we have a real kitchen, the next focus would be toilets and then more equipment for our cooks like it says over here. But for now, you know, we, we need sinks first. So um, do I go for like a very simple thing or do we go for an actual like toilet area? I mean, having toilets, I feel like you have to have like toilets in a... If we do this and we put just put in walls and doors, that could be a thing, right? And then we put the sinks on the other side. I feel like that's probably the best option. So let's do that. Let's, whoops. Since when does it do that if I plush, press space? That's weird. 24 and then we need 12 for that. Yeah, so we're going to put three toilets in here. If I can get the money for it. There we go. And thank you and thank you. And no, nope, not enough. And there we go. Okay, let's put in doors. This is going to be very crowded, but I mean, <laughs> I don't really care. They want the toilets, they get toilets, right? Toilets don't need to be like very spacious. Yeah, they, they're still complaining about the toilets. Okay, we have enough money now, whoops, to buy a sink. I'm going to put in the sinks first. There they are. So that nobody goes to the toilet without, you know, 
getting back out and cleaning their washing their hands it's a very good practice but i mean especially nowadays uh <laughs> but uh yeah it's it's very important to have these they will definitely go and complain uh so yeah there we go and now we can start working on our first toilets we can just place it right here too um but yeah no there we go first toilet in can we check it the camera angle is a bit li little bit weird sometimes but yeah we got it in and the first toilet and now we will start worrying about hopefully we can get it just before the end of the month would be nice yeah thank you and now we can start working on our real kitchen getting another dough machine in right here getting another oven in right there long oh whoa we have a very long queue a lot of them are is, are coming for the bread right yeah yeah bread oh well wine is also very very popular i think this is fine i think we can do it like this um but we have to probably increase our wine list uh or like wine buy buying um we need more clean clean glasses yeah i kind of know uh, we have to buy more cabinets for that too. The thing, what what did I want to put on the menu? A pizza. I want to go towards this. So we need we need tomatoes. We need cutting board, and the same equipment that we already have. So we could put some cutting boards over here. That's not a problem. Um, right now we're probably better off just by increasing what we already have. Like put another dough mixer in and put another oven in. Um, that would be probably priorities number one now. Let me get enough money to do that, please. Come on, we're almost there. Thank you. Extra dough mixer, extra money, extra thing. So what we all will also do, we will also start building more storage. There is a huge line in front of the front of the. I think we have enough. Yeah, I feel like. <coughs> sorry, I feel like they are delivering now. Yeah, we have enough of um, this. I'm already going to start with tomatoes then. I want uh, some tomatoes in my storage before the storage just ends up being full. Also, what we want is more plates and other stuff for the future. So there we go. We have some new cabinets. Uh, let's get more glasses. Oops. Let's get more glasses because it's especially a uh, shortage there. Um, and let's get some more plates. And I feel at this point we have still seven left, so we can kind of see whatever is like the least, or whatever we need more. Um, maybe another dishwasher at the end of here, by the way, would be, a, well, we could place dishwasher there too. Um, we will place another storage rack. That's actually not a bad idea, I feel. There we go, another storage rack with our money. And that's just before the tick of the month. I was just in time, so that means that, uh, yeah, we have clean glasses shortest, but we have more glasses now. Awesome. Uh, but that means we are definitely going to a deficit, but uh, we're doing fine. We're still making a lot of money. There's still like a huge line outside for people to join in. We probably should in should normally uh, make this a little bit bigger, but since we're getting closer to the end of the video, I just want to get ready for, for pizza, basically. Um, so what do we need? Yeah, we need a cutting board. That's the only thing. We need like two cutting boards in here and then we will be fine. We need the money for that and then we could put pizza on the menu. And it's actually going to be the first time for me seeing the pizza in this uh, in this game too. That would be a lot of fun to see. Uh, I feel like we have enough employees. Oh, well, there are they are still complaining. So let's just get, get another employee then. Uh, actually, this employee is going to focus on, well, this guy now is going to focus on washing the dishes. There we go. That should do it. Okay, we have room for a cutting board. We have the money for a cutting board now. So let's put it there. And let's put another one in if, as soon as we get another 50. Oh, I was just too late. And... Come on. There we go. Okay, uh, that means that we can now put on the menu a pizza. Awesome. I want to see the pizza. I want to see the, that's that was kind of my goal to get this done in this one video. I wasn't sure if we were actually going to reach that because I wasn't sure how fast we were uh, basically doing this. Um, but yeah, getting there is actually qu quite good. Not enough mixers. Yeah, we probably have to increase all of that. Um, getting the mixers over here. I mean, we have the money, so why not? Let's just put another dough mixer right here. 
we could make it work like that. I mean, not enough ovens, same thing. When we got the money, we could just put the money because that's basically what we're doing. Oh, I saw someone moving. Oh, pizza, 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 pizza. Oh, nice. You. I love pizza. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, yeah, that's going to be it. We've managed... Whoa, there's a huge line now that we've got pizza on the menu. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Let's just leave it like going like this. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, like I said in the last video, these type of videos where I do like a pilot for these type of games are very important to see what your feedback is. So if you want to see more of this game on the channel in the, in the future, then make sure to leave a like and tell me in the comment section that you want to see more. Um, you know, all those things are very important. Also, share the video to other people if you want to see more because that might, you know, help to get more people actually saying that they want to see more too. Uh, and that's basically it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, I've been Ibon, you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. And thanks for watching and enjoy your pizza.